Well, what may I have Ron Glass, Glasser, right? Correct. And he is uh, a uh, the owner and curator, or you do it all, right? Yeah, over yeah. at the Discovery Hall over in Troy. And with him, he's brought some really interesting things. What is this, Ron? And I know that we're talking about jewels of the sea, but this looks like something that could hurt you. Mm -hmm. It's upside down. <laughs> you can't want them all. <laughs> that is a jaw from a black tip shark. Oh, that's a shark? Correct. I thought they had more teeth than that. Oh, there's a few hundred in there, actually. Actually? Oh, yeah, I see. And they're kind of angled so that they don't come out easily. When a shark bites and they do that thrashing about thing and a tooth comes out, this is cartilage, so they're not mounted as our teeth are. When a tooth comes out, the one behind it comes up Pops to replace up. it. What an ingenious thing. Genius. Ingenious. Tell us about Jewels of the Sea. I think this is a fascinating, <laughs> fa I mean, we are so, we're in space, we're here, we're, mm -hmm. but the sea offers us so much. You brought some photos, we're gonna talk about those. Mm -hmm. Yep, we've explored roughly 5% of the ocean. So we truly have no idea how many varieties of mollusks and bivalves there actually are. Can't um, get down that far. Nope, nope. Um, what we have is approximately 800 or so varieties of both seashells and sea animals, and about a thousand shells plus altogether, which are varieties. It's my mm, vision of this that it's not simply a place to go look at the one perfect example of each one. It's a variety of each species so that somebody's got one at home. I found this thing. What is I it? I can't find it in the damn book. Oh, there it yeah, is yeah, right there. Yeah, so, yeah. What got you mm -hmm. started in this, Ron? Uh, Are these all, is this is your collection? It is. It is. Yeah. Yes, it is. In spite of yeah, just you had to start a haul just so you could show it, right? Yeah. Well, it got to be. I had it all in boxes and with the numbers and the names and all that stuff in, in a room, and it got to the point where I couldn't even enjoy it. So it was time to spread it out. Well, not only that, but you're sharing it with people. What mm -hmm. is? Uh, and we're going to show the slides, but this. Mm -hmm. Tell me about this. This is like a clean or not a snail shell in a sense because they, are, yes, they live inside and. Mm -hmm. Yep. carry this thing around with them. Yes, they do. Yep, that and is, is a Ramos And is this mother of pearl, is that what they call that or not? Yes, actually. The, I got one right. <laughs> <laughs> there are essentially three layers to a shell. The top where all the color is and the you know, sort of smooth surface is one particular layer. The animal actually produces these three layers in sequence. The middle layer is that white sort of chalky looking layer and the inside is the mother of pearl where the body actually makes contact with the shell. And that's the prize stuff they put in jewelry, is the Correct. mother of pearl. Yeah, and, and do they use, now this is a, this looks like a scallop. Is, yep. is that a scallop? It's a lion's paw one, scallop. Man. That's Whoa. number two. Two. Nice. I love this. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, really gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was one big scallop. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I love scallops. But uh, now here's, this looks like a car carapace. Is that what they call that? Yes. Got yep. that one right, yeah, too. See? <laughs> wow. Awesome. Yep. Oh, whoops. Uh, uh, there's some I, No, I'm sand being very careful. Well, yeah, you it's can, a horseshoe crab. A horseshoe crab. Yep. Now, look, I'm going to turn that around. I don't want to want to be gentle. Yep. So this is, is that, that's gorgeous. And mm -hmm. this is what they're going to see. Now, how do you find these? Do you, um, do you kind of walk along? You're not going to find these this, laying on the, on the. That you will. Oh, will you? Oh, okay. Yep, that's actually, we've collected that from Cape Cod. Okay. And this is also from Cape Cod. Oh, that's this is what common. you think of when you think of seashells. Right. It's, yep, it's beautiful. that's a knobbed whelk. That's fairly common. What is it? Knobbed whelk. Whelk? Is that the name of mm -hmm. the, the critter it's in it? The, it's the species. Oh, it's the species. Yep. That's beautiful, but that's the one you always, I see, you know. It's in there. I'm not going to get arrested doing this. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, I no texting on that no either. No texting on it. And this, this oh, is actually my these. wife's favorite. This was a birthday gift. This is called a Japanese wonder shell. I have one of these with a little hole that I can make a necklace out of. Really? Wow, yeah. that's beautiful. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, but it's small, a little smaller. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I, you can make a necklace out of it. Someone gave it to me and it has, tiny, I don't know whether it's a natural hole or what, but anyway, they have a little hole. It could it. be. Could be. Let's, let's see some of the, the photos that you brought so Very that well. we can talk about those as well. 
Okay. What is that? That Looks is like a, something I don't want to run into. <laughs> it's actually uh, five or inches or so long. It's a Venus comb. Okay. Is it? It's a, a type of murex, which is related. It's okay. within this family. Do and, these are these things kind of solitary and mind their own business, or are they going to come after us? <laughs> <laughs> no, they're they're pretty solitary. Okay. And in fact, there are a number of species of mollusk of snails that are carnivorous. You think, what can a snail chase down and eat? Well, it would be other snails. I was going to say, it's yeah. something that moves as slowly. Correct. Okay, what are we looking at here? Mm -hmm. Yep, this is the front part of the display. Okay. Uh, the display actually covers the front part of my building okay. in Troy. Uh, what a great yeah. place to bring kids to, to learn about this. Well, you know, it kind of replaces, this was also part of my idea, when the Rensselaer County Junior Museum moved out of Troy, oh. Troy proper, uh, to the Tech Park mm -hmm. over on Route 4, um, they also took with it the opportunity for kids downtown in the local exactly, area yeah. to either take a bus or walk, and it was a magnificent museum. It was all practical stuff, all mechanical stuff, hands-on. They had the, the reptile guy. So they the, put it into the, an area where it's harder for kids to get to, if they, yeah. You have to drive there. Yeah. Now, what is and, this that we're looking at? Here? Mm -hmm. This is another part of the display. Okay. Um, it's all in sections of families very of shells. Very lovely displays. Thank you very much. Yeah, very nice display. Yep. Part of that is enabling people to come in, and I don't have labels and numbers all over everything. It's so like when you walk on the beach and oh, you look discover what I found. yeah. What, oh, it, yes. what is this? Yeah. I remember walking on the beach and, and it was like iridescent. It was like these things, they, it sparkled at night. Mm -hmm. So, but I don't mm -hmm. know, what were those? Oh, you don't know. <laughs> I don't know what you were seeing. Oh, you don't know. <laughs> may have been one of those nights. It may well have been. <laughs> no. I make no But it was, uh, it was like when the, the, the water came in and it went out, it looked like it sparkled and then it immediately that disappeared. That actually is, uh, sand is essentially uh, silicon. Okay, and, so that was the sand that was doing it. Various reflections of whatever lights. It might just be happened, and then it disappeared. Yep. It was beautiful, though. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't an animal. I thought it was. Oh, well. No, not that time. Okay. <laughs> yep, that's a harp shell. Harp shell. Mm -hmm. Okay. And again, this is more animals, uh, seahorses and sea stars, and um, uh, 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 sea urchins, and other little creatures such as that. We're, uh, we're, um, we're almost getting out of time, mm -hmm. but I, what I, I guess, oh, look at that. What is that? Ah, uh, that is called a Yoko something. It's a, uh, it's also from the Sea of Japan. It's a Japanese uh, star How did you get that? Shell. You must oh, you had to buy these. You I didn't, did. Yeah, I was going to say, you, you don't just find those. No, a number are purchased. In fact, there's this great little um, shell shop on uh, Provincetown of Cape Cod, okay. that uh, we have a very good relationship. Okay, good. And uh, they are able to find a number of very rare things for me. What an incredible exhibition called Jewels of the Sea. When can they see this? And this is over at Discovery Hall, and that's at uh, 426 Second Avenue over in Troy. Second Street. Second Street, okay. Yes, Second Avenue is the other side of town. Oh, is there a Second Avenue and mm. a Second Street? Sorry. Okay. Get it right. It's all right. I was just so in, in, made sure I got the right address that I forgot to put the street after. It's Avenue the Street. this weekend, 18, 19, and 20. Okay. So you show them once a month. We try to do this once a month, yes. Okay. If someone wanted to bring a group of, say, homeschool kids in, mm -hmm. you'd make an arrangement. Absolutely. Maybe. We crave such a thing. Yeah. So if you homeschool your kids, get a bunch together and bring them there, what a great field trip this would be to learn about the sea and maybe get your kids started in collections and mm -hmm. just enjoying the sea. Mm -hmm. And when they Absolutely. go to the beach, start looking for seashells and, yep. and see what they can learn. Mm -hmm. Ron, it's such a pleasure to have you on. Thank you. And to learn to about here. this great exhibition. I was not aware that it was year round and I'm so happy to hear because I, mm -hmm. I talked to people who, you know, mention them. Now I can say, oh, you know where you can go. <laughs> so I'll it. tell them. So awesome. thank, thanks so much. And, and thank thanks you. for bringing your lovely wife. Kathy with you too. She, I know she works side by side with you to get things Very going much. there. I can't do it without her. Right. And, and I, just to mention quickly, Ron does so much with classes and many other things over at Discovery Hall. We want to give him a plug on that too.